Good afternoon folks and welcome back to yet another video on my channel. I would like to thank, thank uh, Zach of Dream Home Media and that home theater dude and DMAX Cinemas for being a source of inspiration for putting out such videos. Uh, in the last video, in the first episode uh, regarding to the streaming device, uh, I had said that this particular streaming device cannot be activated uh, from India, which is true. And I said that you have to use an icon to activate this. The correct usage would be um, proxy links. Okay. So in layman's terms, what that means is every device which you're using, irrespective of uh, whether it be your phone or your laptop or your computer, has an IP address uh, using which you can trace the location uh, of your of the particular device. So using that uh, particular link, you have proxy links. Okay, in other words, uh, links pertaining to devices of other countries. You can uh, enter through those proxy links so that the server, uh, the divorce server, uh, recognizes that you have logged in through a foreign account, and hence the activation takes place. All right. So this uh, particular video will be related uh, to the setup of the uh, streaming device. Now, as you can see these are the uh, uh, apps available okay you have uh, you have uh, netflix you have stream here tivo stream but this particular site is not available in india or i have not subscribed to it then you have netflix yes which is, which i have subscribed and uh, this is the only uh, app that supports uh, dolby atmos next is sling i have no access to that either and the next is prime videos now prime videos uh, i'm not sure uh, whether if it's the package that i have chosen i have chosen the sd package so probably that's why i'm not able to stream uh, content in dolby atmos and then we have youtube and uh, all the other uh, apps and uh, if i click this i can select uh, other apps too uh, for example like uh, HBO movies plus but then again I don't have access to that okay so basically uh, what this does is it pulls in uh, all the different types of uh, contents in one window so you, it's easy for you to uh, select uh, which you want to watch and basically what it does is it tells you on which app that particular movie or uh, content is available and hence you can select it and straight away watch it okay now let us go into the settings now this is the settings menu okay now the first one is is about the device name this is used when uh, mirror casting or when you are casting the image uh, from the particular device or your phone whatever it is so it will show you from which device you are casting it okay the second one is the internet uh, device regarding the internet so in my case i have connected it to my local network which is uh, kcl uh, the one okay now if you want you can add new networks as such okay so let me back out from there then accounts and sign in so basically this uh, relates uh, to the google account through which you have accessed tivo now i have uh, two accounts and i am using the second one then this particular uh, section apps shows me uh, it's basically like a, a history browse history it shows you uh, which apps i have visited earlier and you can uh, deny or uh, give permission to visit those apps okay next is device preferences okay the basic settings uh, it's about date time languages now th this is where you uh, set your sound okay so it's under device preferences you go to sound now basically uh, most of the streaming devices uh, are streaming in dolby digital plus so that's why i have selected dolby atmos with dolby digital plus Dolby Digital, Dolby Digital Plus and I have not uh, selected DTS and DTS HD because it is not available and I have uh, switched off Dolby True HD uh, as well. Audio output is again in DCR mode. That's as far as the sound is concerned. Now it's about display. HDR settings, you can set the HDR settings. I have set my HDR to on, Dolby Vision to on okay and hdr settings if you want you can set it to auto as well screen resolution now since i am using uh, a projector 
which is on which is not 4k it's only hd so i have selected uh, 1080p by default screen position you can either uh, zoom in or zoom out next is hdmi cec what basically cec means is uh, with an activation of just one button you can switch off uh, all the uh, basic accessories which are being used in other words if i switch on or uh, switch off the projector it automatically switches off the tv streaming device as well as the amp storage facility i told you uh, this device has about storage of 8 gb now since uh, it has users used up a lot of space now the available uh, gb is only 4.5 home screen it enables video previews apps and the basic stuff chromecast okay so it uh, asks you it gives you notification about all android devices which are connected to your wifi and it allows them to control your uh, casting and it also shows the version number screen saver now this screen saver is uh, already activated so as you can see when to start now if this is inactive for more than 15 minutes it automatically sets off this screen saver and location basically this is the ip address okay so basically it traces your ip address uh, based on the uh, ip address of your wifi usage and diagnostics now this is i set it to on because in case uh, you uh, Uh, encounter any issues it will give you a status report saying that you have encountered such an issue and so that you can uh, go back and check okay security and restrictions unknown sources so basically uh, it gives you a warning signal if any malicious uh, software or malicious apps have been uh, downloaded uh, by mistake accessibility okay so this basically uh, i can activate this using uh, speech as well so uh, i have just been using this for about a month so i am yet to try all those things experiment with all those things then reset you can reset the whole thing to its default settings uh, which i am not going to do <laughs> i mean i don't want to go through this uh, difficult process uh, again remotes and accessories okay now if i want i can add uh, accessories to this okay uh, basically it can be a, a mouse or uh, any other device to control this but for the time being i am controlling this with the tivo remote so uh, that's about it guys uh, regarding the uh, settings of the tivo streamer now let me just show you a clipping of the video and basically yeah away this is my best series that I have been watching on Netflix and it is in Dolby Atmos yeah, as you can see it shows you Dolby Atmos my obsession with water didn't start with my plants it started with the death of my birth parents it is a dream I didn't know yes sir and you can control the uh, amp as well with this using this remote i'm increasing the volume of the amp uh, using the tivo remote how about the uh, ladder support that surrounding the ship turn the walls yeah, absolutely not why why not because it's impossible okay on it okay thank you guys and uh, until the next video uh, stay home uh, stay safe uh, and uh, this is george um, signing out once again thanks for your love and support bye